I'm here at Paradigm trying the zero gravity treadmill where it literally feels like I'm walking on a cloud. There's no strain on my ankles, no strain on my knees. I feel practically weightless. And patients that I've spoken to earlier say that they can do things they couldn't do in years because of this machine. Just really increased my mobility. I mean, excessively. Kathy Pittman says before using the Alter G treadmill, her back and knee pain kept her from doing simple everyday tasks. I felt closed out of society. I mean, it was not being mobile affects everything in life. Weightless is how she describes it. The treadmill works by weighing Kathy, then removing pressure from her waist down. And I do have to have surgery on my left knee, have it replaced, but in here it doesn't hurt. So only 20% of her weight is actually on the treadmill at any time. Physical therapist William Dodson says this also works with athletes in training. It allows you to move your muscles through a full range of motion versus not being able to move it off. It lifts you up. I mean, it, it, it helps you inside. With an eye on health. I did it. Jennifer Samp, CBS 7 News. I pulled the trigger and then it came out like... A BB came out. Twelve-year-old Isai Garai went through a traumatic experience when he was cleaning a BB gun at a friend's house. A BB shot straight into his eye, causing him to go legally blind. I couldn't see. Didn't think I was going to see again. Isai is one of hundreds of kids that doctors say will come through the clinic with trauma to the eyes. His mother, Maria, says the thought of her son not being able to see out of one eye gave her the chills. She cried. Care. Considering the injury he had and the type of injury with a BB gun straight into the eye, uh, he did very, very good. Dr. Gerardo Escobedo did cataract surgery on Isai, enabling him to see. The doctor says there is a 5% increase during the summer with cases like Isai's. It, it can be pretty devastating, and I've seen that in, in patients, and it's, it's more devastating to the parents. Because a lot of times, like I said, these injuries could be prevented. He says sports equipment to the face or paintball guns are also reasons for injury. Most of the time, you don't wear something until you have a, an eye poked at. Unfortunately, he says 90% of these injuries could be prevented. Isai says safety is now the first thing on his mind. Yeah, thanks God. You can see. Accidents don't tell you when it's going to happen. It's when you least expect it. Oh, is that me? Yeah. Macy Blair was in major pain for years before her procedure. I was in so much pain I was willing to actually think about having my colon removed and that's a pretty big step to eliminate pain in your life. Macy had a pelvic venous embolization procedure. In short, the doctor injected a dye-like substance into her veins with a catheter. It then helped the doctor see what's causing Macy's pain. There were times when it was uncomfortable but not unbearable. Macy was awake the entire time, watching the doctor's every move. I remember seeing her um, utensil going through the artery. Her doctor is not a surgeon, but an interventional radiologist, and she is new to the Odessa Regional Medical Center. An interventional radiologist is somebody who uses the field of radiology, which has multiple ways of imaging the body. Dr. K. Hamrick's procedures range from finding tumors and internal bleeding to replacing the liver and even helping infertile couples. These are done through tiny little openings in an artery or a vein using a catheter and, and, and using the visualization to, to see these areas. Now patients like Macy don't have to travel far to get these procedures done. You look awesome. Thank you. She had a very special moment when I lost my first hundred and um, it was very emotional because it was like, oh, I've worked so hard for this. Bernadette Stagray says her body weight was a burden on her life. She hated to even go out to restaurants um, because she knew that or felt that people would stare. This was Bernadette's interview last year after her vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery where 85 percent of her stomach was removed. She's got the stomach of a seven-year-old kid. But not the appetite of a kid. Bernadette says the surgery is not a cure-all procedure. The surgery was just a tool that aided me. It takes discipline and hard work. Proper diet and exercise. Five days a week. 
sometimes six. Michael Stagri, Bernadette's son and trainer, says the hard work was mostly in his mother's head. Tried it once before, and she wasn't mentally ready. One year and more than 130 pounds later, Bernadette has a new attitude and a new life. Go shopping with my daughter, go into baseball games with my son, just living life in general. Kind of leaves me speechless how much she's been able to be more outgoing. Now the only burden Bernadette worries about is the weight her trainer makes her lift. I did this for my children and my husband and my future grandchildren and I have never felt this good. With an eye on health, Jennifer Samp, CBS 7 News.